Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I grabbed this from across the street from my neighbor's trash pile. I am going to turn his trash into my treasure. If you want to know how to do that, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Here we go. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I just went ahead and removed all of my hardware off of this. And a lot of this hardware was pretty bad shape, so I did not save any of this hardware. Then I took some bleach water, just a little bit of bleach and some water, and I'm just wiping out all the drawers. Now, you don't have to clean this to the extent I'm cleaning it, but this came out of my neighbor's barn in his backyard, and I don't know what was on it, what was in it. I'm really going to clean this thing up really well. Okay, next I'm taking some 220 um, grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to start sanding it down. Now, I am going to wear a mask on this because I don't know where this has all been. So I'm going to go ahead and start sanding down the tops of the drawers because I was going to kind of finish those out without painting them. And I figured out that was going to be way too much work, so I went and got my palm sander. And I'm going to sand this with an 80 grit sandpaper and come back with it and finish it out with a 220 grit sandpaper. Okay, and then I just went around the sides of the drawers just a little bit just to knock all the, um, the shininess off of it, just to kind of prep it a little bit. With chalk paint, you really can skip this step if you know where this piece of furniture came from. And it's been inside you could just actually just paint right over it but since this was in his barn outside I'm just kind of making sure that there's no moisture underneath each layer I'm just kind of knocking it off a little bit I'm not overly sanding it just kind of knocking off the um, the shiny part and then I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up now this part I did sand the entire top part because I was gonna stain it but then I did change my mind on this and I did paint it so you could just knock this off too, that you don't have to do it to the extent that I'm doing it right here. Okay, then I'm just going to vacuum the entire thing, get the main dust off of it first, and then I'm going to come in with a tack cloth and I'm just going to wipe every bit of it down. If you're working on a piece of furniture, make sure you don't skip that step because you want to make sure you get all your dust off before you start painting it. And do your drawers as well. All right, day one complete. Okay, for day two, I'm just going to go ahead and take my drawers and I'm going to put, take some um, painter's tape and I'm just going to go ahead and seal up the sides of this because I do not want to paint this part. I just want to make sure that I get all of it sealed up really good so that when I am painting, my paint doesn't go underneath it. Then I finally figured out that if I just cut this corner straight, I can make it put it on there a little bit easier. So I started just cutting it and then applying it. And if you do a project like this where it's right, it has a raised area and you do get a little bit of paint on there, I did when I did my painting. Um, I just took a little piece of sandpaper and just put it on my little fingertips and just started rubbing it and I got it all off of there. And painter's tape is definitely your friend. Okay, next I'm going to make my own chalk paint. I'm using the calcium carbonate. And I'll mix 8 tablespoons of the car calcium carbonate to 8 tablespoons of water to do 1 quart of paint. Now, if you saw my demonstration last week where I tested the different, kind, the different types of chalk paint recipes that are out there, you'll see that this one turn turned out the best. Okay, and then just go ahead and mix your water in. Now you want to make sure that you mix it in a container separate from the paint and then pour it into the paint. Don't mix it all right into the paint. Mix it up really good. Make sure it's stirred up good. Make sure that there's none settling on the bottom of it. And then we're going to add it to our paint. Now I'm using a two quart bucket with a lid and I'm just going to take some paint. I'm using latex paint that I got on sale at Lowe's and I'm just going to mix it into my two quart container so that I can add my chalk recipe stuff. And then I have a lid for this so I can save this for other projects. Because this one is the only one that really did not dry up after it's set for a while. And I'm just using a stain master that has a um, primer, base in, primer in it as well. And this one worked out really well. And you can use any latex paint you want. The good thing about making your own is that you have so many colors that you can choose from. And I'm just going to go ahead and slowly add this in and mix it up well as I'm going. You don't want to dump it all in at one time. Really get this mixed up in there well. OK, 
Okay, then I'm going to use a paint brush that is for um, chalk paint, and I got that on Amazon. And you can just kind of brush the chalk paint any which way you want to. It doesn't really have a rhyme or reason. Just kind of paint it on there. Just get full coverage on there. You don't want to put too much paint on there, but you want enough for, um, to cover it up. And I ended up doing um, one layer, let it dry, and then I came back and I redid another layer of paint on it. This kind of project really doesn't take that long. It's just the drying time between times. The actual work on it is really does not take that long. And then if you get any runs, like my husband's pointing out right there, you want to make sure that you get all of those smoothed out before this dries. And this chalk paint dries pretty fast. And then I'm going to do the very front part too. And I'm not so much worried on the front if I get it inside the drawer area because all that's going to be covered up with the drawers. So just kind of just, you know, get it on there. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and do the drawers the same way. I'm just going to do the outer, outer edges of them and leave the raised side up because I'm going to do something different on that. This was actually a great find because it is a maple piece and it did have the tongue and groove um, for the drawers for the front and, and the back and everything. It's a pretty well made piece and you can find a lot of this stuff. There's so many people throwing this kind of stuff away. It's crazy. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off while it's still a little bit wet just so that I make sure that I don't pull any paint off with the tape while it's dry. Next, instead of stain, I'm using boiled linseed oil. And what this does, it just brings the beauty of the wood out. It just darkens it up a little bit, and it just pulls all that grain up. And what you do is you just rub this on. You don't rub it on too heavy, but put enough of it on there. Let it set for about 10 minutes, and then wipe the excess off. And I did this one, and then I let it set overnight, and I came back and I did another layer. Now I know that you can see where my handles were, but once I get my new handles on, they, they won't show up. They were just on this furniture so, so long that it's just stayed light behind those and the wood darkened up. So even if I had sanded it for um, a lot longer, it still would, it would still would show there. Just kind of go in a circular motion as you're doing this, but just make sure that you get it completely sealed in. For my chalk paint, I'm going to take some Annie Sloan soft wax and I'm going to wax it. If you are using chalk paint, you want to make sure that you do apply a wax after you paint it. Otherwise, if you um, were to scratch it with your fingernail or if you set something on it and it scratched it, you would see a chalk line. And just going to go all the way around it. You don't have to put a lot on there, but just go ahead and get it kind of really um, sealed in there. And if you if you rub it a little bit harder and you spend a little bit of time on it, you can, you can get a shine on it. And I'm going to do this to all my drawers and then I'm going to do this to my big piece of furniture as well. But you want to make sure that you don't skip this step. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing on my bigger piece of furniture, on all the black. I'm just going to get it completely sealed in. And the more you rub it, the more um, sheen you can get on it. It'll, it does buff out really nicely. And you can rub this any way you want to. You don't have to go along the grain of the wood. You can kind of roll it, you know, go in circles or whatever. Just kind of really get it buffed out there. Next, I'm changing out the hardware. I bought some modern hardware and I'm getting rid of the old beat up hardware. And I'm just going to go ahead and start adding my um, knobs and adding my little cups. And I'll give you the link for these where I got these on Amazon. They were really priced well. And this really did give a finishing touch on this furniture. Okay. 
Okay, so again, there's my before picture and then my after picture. If you like these kind of videos, these um, trash to treasures, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see future videos, be sure and like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.